I love to write because, uh, you know, that's my lifetime of study that. And as far as performing is concerned, that keeps me out of the house and they keep me enjoying what I wrote. The Creole Mass, one time I went to the studio uh, to do some recording, and there was a gentleman there, he was sitting down, he was getting ready to leave out of a session, and I was getting ready to go to a session. Bobby Valentino is his name. I was fortunate enough we got to talk, and I was telling him about the composition I was writing while I was waiting, and he asked me, uh, well, what do you intend to do with, with this? I said, well, I want to go into the studio and try to record it, you know, make a demo tape of it and uh, a few songs and try to submit it to someone to put up the money. And it just so happened that was the right time, the right place, and the right place to talk something, and he agreed to do the math. We went in the studio and we did it, and that was it. And the thing about that, what was so interesting with that, the, the, uh, the choir master, uh, of, of the choir, of the symphony, he said, well, Del, I, he said, I have to tell you something. He said, man, I've never seen anything that looks so bad on paper and sounds so right to the ear. Yeah, I said, man, I, said, I guess I, that's a compliment to them. He said, it looks so wrong, but sounds so right. When I was young, I grew up with this beat, the New Orleans beat, and I don't care what kind of music it is, even the church music that I did is identifiable with the, uh, with the music from New Orleans. The beat is, and you're born with this. You, you know, you came up all my life with that. Like I say, 20, I was, let's see, I made 28, so about 27 years, I, you know, I grew up with that. <laughs>